so this book just arrived, Baseball Around the World, How the World Plays the Game. And I was just <coughs> kind of in love with this cover. It really does convey baseball, but then it, it does such a good job of showing baseball around the world, kind of using stamps and stickers, but especially the spine, you know, kind of like par avion, like, you know, international mail. Um, and so for anyone who likes baseball, um, it makes you think like, wow, baseball around the world. For me, like I knew baseball was really, is really popular in Japan, but that's probably the extent of baseball around the world that I could reference. Anyway, this book is by Chris Singleton and Dean Burrell, and the publisher is Bushel and Peck Books. And they did such a nice job when they sent it. They asked me if I wanted it. I said yes, because I have a baseball list. And then they let me order it, like, without paying for it. And then they had, like, constant communication of when it was coming. I don't know. They just, it was just, like, really nice the way they communicated. And so this is, um, the introduction is about people think baseball as an American sport, the great American pastime. But a lot of baseball players come from around the world and um, it's sort of, you know, how baseball, you know, is celebrated all over the world. Oh, Fenway Park. Yay. That's my neck of the woods here in Boston. So here we have Major League Baseball, all the different teams and where they're located. But then we keep going further. Cuba, definitely a lot of good players from Cuba, from Colombia, the Dominican Republic. Nicaragua. So I think there's just showing not only how the game is, well, you know what, that makes sense. Cause you know, we know there's a lot of great players from all over the world that come and play on, you know, for example, the Red Sox. And so of course they're playing the sport in their home country in order to be good enough to get recruited. I actually never really thought of it like that. Um, and so this is how they play and learned Puerto Rico for sure. Venezuela, Japan. We were just watching baseball because we were eating at a restaurant and there's a Japanese player who, Shinzo, I, I, I don't remember his name because I don't really follow baseball that closely. And my husband was like, look at that baseball player. He's Asian. And I was like, yeah, I think he's really famous. And we, I, we didn't know what team he played for, but um, he was, you know, definitely like multi, like not just a pitcher. Um, but it is, it is fun to see, um, you, know, you know, different races represented when you watch baseball. And it does make you want to learn more about the sport and the team and to root for someone that looks like you. Um, so Australia and then Little League. Oh, and wow. I, you know what? I also knew there was a World Little League series only because in Newton uh, we have like a street sign the year that Newton either won the Little League World Series or or the U.S. They won something big um, and so there was like a you know like one of the street sign plaques and um, yeah I mean that'd be a big deal look at all the countries that compete. So this just looks like a really great non-fiction book for anyone who plays baseball even softball um, because now more and more girls who like softball are now also getting the option to play baseball. Um, and that's kind of a new thing. But I think anyone who just likes sports or can relate to sports because like maybe there's a team in where they live that they root for or they know about, or maybe this is a country that um, the reader has some affiliation with too. So I think there's a lot of ways to um, be intrigued by this book and want to read it. And also it is just, you know, very beautifully designed, easy to read, easy to flip through. Um, I can find all kinds of interesting things that, you know, instead of getting it, you know, through a YouTube video, you can kind of get it through flipping around and reading this book. And I think it's great um, for bedtime stories or summer reading. Um, and definitely anyone who likes nonfiction should pick up this book and take a look at it. Um, 
So thank you all for watching and thank you for Bushel and Pack for sending me this beautiful copy of this baseball around the world.